So we're at Emma and Mark's house. Um, they're long-term bee customers of Brisbane Native Bees and they're learning uh, bit by bit how to split their own hives. So we're going to do this one today. And um, there's been a little bit of leakage around the bottom box, but we're gonna fix a lot of that stuff up. And it should come out good. It looks like a little bit of leakage on the side there from the bees. So Emma and Mark are going to crack open the hive now. This is a species called Carbonaria, which we remember from last time we split. I think around there and have a look, see what's happening here. See that's splitting quite nicely there. It's dropping into two halves. So I think you can lift that one off and drop it straight onto the new bottom over there. Can the we break that brood? All right, we'll just, we'll just break that, hang on a sec. Play straight over the new bottom section and press down into place so it starts to stick down and then we will clean up the top of this bottom section to, to be able to hit a new, a new top section on this one at the moment. Mark and Emma are cleaning up the edges of this section at the moment so that the next one fits on. Split bar should go nicely at either side of that brood. Nice experience for a young married couple to go through. <laughs> nice project for them. Interested in the bees, love their bees. Mm -hmm. Emma's had these bees in her nan's family for years and years and years. Yeah, I think it would have been easy 15, probably. Wow, yeah. I think uh, my granddad... Friendly as ever. Yeah. Bees are being very tame. Mark was just saying he's never been bitten once by a bee yet. I suppose it's a little bit of a chilly morning and a big cool wind, so they haven't been quite as active till we opened it up. Okie doke, that'll do us. 